Hi everyone, Clifford here. I just want to take a few seconds to thank you guys. Thank you for making our Cliff Pickleball one of the biggest family on YouTube. We have reached 10K subscribers. It is thanks to you and you can return it, okay? No cost, nothing. They're just gonna give you back your money. And to celebrate our 10K subscriber, they decide to give three Invicta Power Event grade to my subscriber, okay? All you have to do to enter, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave us a comment, okay? Are you ready? Let's go to our thing now. The forehand wall. When you're at the net, this can be a very powerful tools, a very powerful weapon you can use against your opponent, okay? So, I'm gonna teach you how to do it. First, let's start with the mechanic. The mechanic is almost the same as the back and wall. Uh, I put a link in the description of that video so you can check it out. If you have your paddle like this, of course that ball is gonna go down, all right? The same thing. If you have your paddle like this, you see, your, face, your paddle is facing the ceiling. So that ball is gonna go up. You need an angle that allows the ball to go over the net and go down with spin, okay? To achieve that, this is how you're gonna hold your paddle. This is the same thing. So now, let's say this is 90 degrees. When you turn it like that, it's gonna be 45. But I want you to see something. I'm not turning my body nothing everything is locked the only thing i'm moving right now is gonna be my wrist okay as soon as i get that 45 angle i lock it okay it's not gonna be moving like this no as soon as i get that 45 it's gonna be locked because this is the perfect spot as you can see my paddle is not facing completely down but it's facing like this that means when i hit the ball with crosswind the ball gonna do that curve is gonna go over the net so how do i do that curve how do i hit the ball so that ball can make the curve i have to put spin on the ball okay so now to put spin my wrist is not moving like this anymore as soon as i get it like that is my wrist is locked okay so to put spin on it i'm gonna move in down and up you see that so this is the only movement i'm gonna do right now down and up so with the paddle in my hand okay i got the angle and now it go down and up you see that down down and up down and up so when i go down and up i put spin on it okay so as you can see it's very like a short movement which make me very fast when i'm doing it because it's just gonna be like this okay so i go like this down and up down and up down and up as you can see i'm not open my wrist close it nothing as soon as i get my 45 i lock it so the only movement i'm gonna do right now down and up and nothing in my body is gonna move the only thing that's gonna move is my legs okay i'm gonna chase the ball you see that i'm gonna be like this nothing is moving okay because less movement you have more consistent you're gonna be so to practice this to show you how effective that shot is john gonna be defending and I'm gonna be the one attacking. Remember, I got my initial position, I move my legs, okay? Down and up, down and up, down and up. It doesn't matter how low the ball is, down and up, okay? Down and up, down and up. It doesn't matter how low the ball is, you can still get it. And sooner or later, you're gonna have the point because you can be very consistent with that shot. So. The other thing I want you to understand, you use it when you're reaching for the ball, okay? As soon as the ball is high, you can just smash it because this is what you're looking for, okay? The thing about it, you don't have to hit the ball hard, okay? The spin is going to do the job for you. So, if you try to reach the ball forward, you do it. But if the ball is coming high like this, you just do like a normal overhead. I'll, I'll show you. Okay, boom. You see, I'm reaching for it. Short ball, low, you see. I'm patient, I can place it now, I kill it. When to use it? Remember, when you're at the net and you're reaching for the ball, okay? So, if you're in the middle of the court, no. 
you have to reset okay if you are at the baseline you're gonna do your normal drive okay sometimes i use it like to do some very deep third shot drop okay but usually i do it at the net okay because i'm trying to be consistent because i know when i do it at the baseline it's just 50 50 and i'm not looking for 50 50. i prefer doing my third drop shot i know 90 percent 95 percent of the time i'm gonna get that ball over the net okay so remember if you have the baseline you cannot do it in the middle please reset and if you are the net and they giving you like short ball and you can go over and attack them until they're popping up so you can attack it all right guys i hope you like the video if you do please don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you next time